Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I extract the aluminum out of these rotors that I got out of motors. And it don't matter how big or small they are. You got some good sized ones here, and then I got these little tiny ones here. And if the bearings are on it, that's fine. If you can't get them off, look at this one here. I still have the cap of the, the, the motor on that one, um, but that's going to be fine. You know, it's all rusted and hard to get off. That's okay. And I found this by mistake, and I'll explain a little bit. And also, I had some concerns about this uh, transformer that I had in my last video. This one was an all aluminum and people were concerned, uh, you know, maybe I'm throwing away some copper, could be uh, on the inner uh, windings here. I, I did check all of these. You can see there's markings on all of them all the way through. Uh, th this is definitely aluminum. The whole thing's aluminum. The worst part about this is it's coated in this paper. So if I was to cut this out and it, uh, it's gonna go as insulated aluminum, which pays like 35 cents a pound. Uh, so I broke a couple of them down here and you can see, I took some of the paper off and it, it's on there really good. It's, it's, it's not gonna be worth stripping down like it was the copper. You remember my last video, I had all that copper that had that white paper coating on it. I just ran it through my stripper and that stuff, uh, it just basically fell off. So now I have, I think this is bare bright copper. But anyways, getting back to this video with these, I'm going to show you how I extract the aluminum off the rotors. And I'm also going to do the same thing with this here. And uh, I'm going to get this down to at least cast aluminum. All right, so let's get on with it. Before we go and extract this aluminum, I'm just going to weigh it up. Got this bucket on here and I got it tear weighted out. I'm gonna throw all these rotors in the bucket. And these came out of a ceiling fan. Same concept. They're aluminum wrapped in a steel thing. So we're at 25, 26 pounds right there. Let's hook up this transformer. And. Transformer's off the ground. All right, so we have 161 pounds of steel that would just go to shred normally. Um, but let's get on to extracting this aluminum. All right, so you probably guessed it. This is what we're doing. We're gonna burn this aluminum out of here. I got that metal grate set up right there on top of a couple bricks and I've got some firewood under there and we got her started. And we're just gonna let it burn. All right, I'm gonna start throwing these little rotors on there. So we'll go ahead and stoke that fire up a little bit.
All right, so you just got done watching like a two hour time lapse of this fire growing and uh, getting really hot and melting. I'm gonna show those rotors where they were uh, melting the aluminum out of them and uh, that's pretty cool. See the melt, see the aluminum melting. That's the transformer and that stuff is getting super soft. I don't know if that stuff's all gonna melt. I don't know, we'll have to come back and check it out. But yeah, so that's that's working really good. Just make sure if you're gonna do this, make sure you stay uh, upwind. You don't wanna be downwind when that starts melting because that's when it starts getting toxic. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back up to the shop and we're going to come and check on this probably in a couple days we're going to let it cool down and and i'll show you how all the aluminum just drips into a uh, one common area and you just scoop it up and it's just that easy Pat everything right down on the coals to uh, get the maximum heat on there you need like 1200 degrees to melt aluminum so uh, let's come back and check on it hopefully all melting and show you how i scoop it up all right so uh, today is the next day from where we were trying to extract that aluminum with the burning. Usually I wait a couple days before I try to unbury that aluminum just because of the heat, but it rained all night long. So I'm sure that that aluminum is uh, extracted and cooled down. So let me finish this up here and then we're going to go out to the woods and check our progress. All right, let's jump on the four-wheeler and head out to the woods and see what we got. All right, so this is the transformer. It doesn't look like that melted out 100%, just probably couldn't get that. I was wondering how that was gonna turn out. But you can see there's a big old hunk of aluminum that, <laughs> that melted. So that, I can collect all these little hunks. You can see them all over the place. Once I move this thing, you're gonna be able to see more of them. They'll just drip into a pile like this. So we'll just have to separate it. And uh, so let's get into this and see how much aluminum we extracted here. There's a couple of chunks. Yeah, we'll set them up here. We're still a little warm down here. Still got some, but you can see all these big chunks of aluminum that just melt into piles. I mean, there's a lot of it in there. Big chunks of aluminum. See, I don't think this fire got hot enough because normally it will melt into one big pile like this. And uh, you just got to pull one piece out. This one here has got a bunch of different ones. So I don't think the fire got hot enough, but you get the idea. This didn't really turn out the way that it normally does. 
or the last couple times I did it, it was in the middle of summer. So now we're in the middle of winter, but you know, we're in January and we had a couple of days forecasted that it was going to be in the fifties. So I thought I'd try it. And, uh, I just, I don't think I got that fire hot enough, but you get the idea, you know, if you wanted to save those rotors up and burn that aluminum out, it just, it just falls right out of that as it melts and it melts into one big pile. And normally you could just come up here with a shovel and just take a big scoop and scoop up one big massive aluminum pile. So this in here kind of broke down into several, so I could probably just save those ashes right there and come summertime I can throw them into a hot fire and it'll all melt. So let's go ahead and clean up the steel that's out here and I'm going to grab the aluminum that I can and uh, I'm going to take it back to the shop and we're going to see if uh, just see what the difference is. Uh, we had like 161 pounds of just steel with all the aluminum in it so we're going to go back and weigh the steel see where it's at and how much aluminum we accumulated. Okay so we're back in the shop now and uh, I've got our all the scrap metal that I pulled up off the ground out there, plus that transformer and the aluminum. I'm gonna pour this aluminum out on the floor here. Try to separate all the, the charcoal, you know, that I don't want to turn in. I'll have to maybe use a hammer or something and pound that out. And then this, this stuff here just like pulls right out of here. Throw that down there. We'll pull all this aluminum out. All right, so there you have it. We've got all the aluminum taken off of uh, the steel. And I guess i um, got a big pile of aluminum here. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit more and then uh, I'll put it in a bucket and we'll weigh it and we'll see the difference of the steel, which we had, we started with 161 and we'll see how much we can get out of the aluminum. All right, so I've got everything cleaned up here. This is all the scrap from the burnt uh, rotors and that transformer. There's the pile of junk. And then here is the, this is off the transformer, that wire. That's all the melted aluminum that came out of this, those rotors. So we got big chunks of uh, aluminum. And normally it comes out in, in one big pile. But so, all right, so let's just weigh it up and see what the difference was. We had 161 pounds originally. And we're at 156 pounds minus minus 12 for the for that uh, bucket so 144 pounds of steel. and all right i'm going to use this bucket and tear it out And we come up with a 14.35 minus two tenths for that tub. So about 14 pounds, Let's just say 14 pounds. All right, so that didn't turn out too bad. So at the 161 pounds, we would have turned that into scrap at $11 and 27 cents. And then by just going out there and burning it, um, spending a little bit of time out there, you know, we uh, got down to 144 pounds of shred for 1008 and then 14 pounds of aluminum that I was just gonna throw in the shred and got us $8.40 for, for a total of $18.48. So I guess that's that's pretty good deal. Um, you know, we're not usually a how-to video, but you know, like I said, I discovered this by accident. Uh, Charlotte was at, out there at our burn spot. That's where we burn most of our trash and um, 
things. And then one day Charlotte was out there, she scooped up this big glob of what looked to be aluminum. And uh, we were just kind of dumbfounded until I saw that I had a big rotor in there that had all burned up. And I said, oh, wow, that must have just melted. And it melted into one pile about this big. And uh, so then I went out there and did it again and, and it worked. So I thought I'm going to do a how-to video on it. You know, just something that I completely discovered by accident. Uh, I, the fire got hot enough to melt the aluminum. This particular time didn't really go so well because, you know, we're in the middle of January in the hot summer days when you're burning out there, your fire can get consistent and stay hot. But, you know, here we are in January and, and uh, this is unseasonably warm. So I thought I'd go out there and do it, but it just couldn't get that fire hot enough. But it didn't do too bad though. So uh, it loosened up all them wires and melted all the coating off of that aluminum that I would have turned in at uh, 35 cents a pound if I'd have took the time to cut it off, but I, I didn't. So just to let you know, I've been trying to put a video out on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern time. It seems to be working out really well. Uh, if you've been following, you'll notice that most of those videos that I have come out on that Wednesday night. Every once in a while, I'll throw an extra one on like a Friday or a Saturday or something. But um, over the Christmas holiday, I, I scratched the Wednesday one because that was Christmas Eve. Everybody's gonna spend time with their families. Don't want to be watching some scrapping channel. I, I scratched the Wednesday and I, I just put it on a different day. And then, uh, so from now on, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and shoot for Wednesday evenings at 6 p.m. I got something for you for next week. Let me show you. So this is what I'm gonna be tearing apart in my next video. This is a forklift battery charger. So stay tuned for that. All right, so that's all we got for you on this video. Uh, we got a lot of scrap that we got to get to the scrapyard so we can get paid. But I think I'm going to hold off because I think the price of copper is going up. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next week.